Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for trading on Monday, May the 23rd, 2016. This report is coming to you live just moments after the opening bell. And we can see that the uh, Russell Futures chart that you're looking at before you is starting off pretty much flat on the day. As far as any alerts that we have for this uh, particular instrument, for this week we do have a rally alert in effect for the Russell Futures. And that rally effect, we'll have to look and see if it matures and, and what, what, hap what happens from it, what comes into play. Um, our early price triggers are not too far away. Um, all of our price triggers have been updated on the uh, website. If you check the link in the description of the video below, you will see the links to the site where the um, the uh, the post wave price trick weekly post wave uh, price triggers are on the site. Uh, right now, we're expecting, like I said, for this market to move higher. It's still in corrective mode off of the uh, overall bear market downtrend. As you can see, we're still in that bear market downtrend. Technically speaking, the market is pulse waving negative. However, we do have a rally alert in play as we see prices um, attempting to break out above the Kumo cloud, possibly uh, for this week. However, in case uh, markets fail to do so and resume the uh, negative pulse wave, we do have. Uh, continuation pattern price triggers in, in place as well as we trade both sides of the markets long and short moving on now to our next market all right taking a look now at uh, the soybeans uh, as you can see this market is starting to uh, come off a bit but it's going to be predicated on what the dollar does the dollar is strengthening uh, today and you'll see that chart momentarily so in the soybeans what we're expecting is for this market to correct further we have crash alert uh, in effect for the soybeans for this week and right now the market is already starting to show signs of distress and that it wants to play that out so we'll be watching uh, for that we have uh, support at 1006 and a quarter if that's taken out this week then correcting through, cra crashing through the trend line is possible. Price is back down to 900 or $9, I should say, below the Kumo cloud. So we'll wait and see what happens. We do have a cross here, um, the shorter term trend line crossing above the longer term trend line and pointing up. So any pullbacks may be supported. Uh, we may not take out the 1006 this week. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, looking at the uh, dollar index, as you can see, uh, this market is in a positive pulse wave position. Uh, we do have um, upward momentum, but we're inside of the Kumo cloud, the Kumo cloud of death. So technically speaking, any price action you see here doesn't really count. One could make an argument that this market's going to turn back and fall below the Kumo cloud. Uh, as we're approaching the overbought area right in here okay and it may try to lock in and get to the upper parts of the Kumo cloud but until we break out of this cloud we're still consolidated sideways with a little bit of bullish momentum built in so we have weekly support now at the 91 uh, 95 level so this market remains well supported it can s sustain pullbacks from here to the to to this support big old air pocket where we can just do nothing and just move sideways so we have pretty much a wide trading range pretty much uh, four cents four cent trading range in the dollar all right taking a look now at the Nikkei the Nikkei is in a positive pulse wave scenario as well uh, however going forward uh, we do have a possible uh, rally alert on this one uh, this one is uh, a softer alert uh, it's basically saying that the market 
has some imbalances in it where it may possibly cause it to break out it doesn't mean it may be sustained or turn into something but it's looking like it wants to break out and move back up toward the um, long-term trend line resistance at 17,557 level so that's going to be one to watch uh, going forward for this week and prices right now are not too far away from the initial price triggers on that one all right now taking a look at gold as you can see gold is negatively pulse waving now we have a negative pulse wave in gold gold is can in a continuation pattern from last week's move as we warned that this market uh, would would crash and that's what's happening it's developing it's a slow uh, a slow move at the, at the moment it's still uh, in the developing stages but it's developing nonetheless doesn't mean it has to move 100 points to the day for it to be a crash we have pulled back substantially from these highs here all right and we warned you that this was coming into play and it's been developing okay you don't want to see uh, the first support at 1233 taken out this week if it is then you know we're headed toward the 1192.30 trend line support long term trend line support 1200 really needs to, to, to stand here alright you gotta stand your ground here if the bulls don't defend this area then we fall back into the Kumo cloud and even below it and we'll be in jeopardy of taking out the lows of 1045.70 so we gotta keep our eye open Upward resistance is 1306.90 for the goal for this week. As far as alerts, we have no re no alerts uh, for gold for this week. Right now, we're just um, we're watching for possible triggers to happen in this market. Don't see too much going on uh, as far as market momentum, except for this downside acceleration and uh, it is coming within it came within a few ticks of actually triggering um, the, the the two bar Charlie setup to the downside so gotta watch that looking at silver silver is looking a little bit weaker than the gold and it's already in an oversold situation but it may want to lock in this new downtrend so this is gonna also be one to watch for sure uh, like the goal, we have no uh, crash or rally alerts in place for this week. Um, so this is going to be one we have to, to watch as well. Um, it did come within a few ticks also of triggering the two bar Charlie setup to the downside. And like I said, this information is available on the website. And one more thing to note. We're getting pretty close to taking out the support right here of 1631. Taking out 1631 was set up to get to the 1576, which is the trend line support, this orange line right in here. All right, our final chart for today is the crude oil. Crude oil is flat, but momentum is starting to point down, point south. And you can see that the weekly support is at 37.53, long way down. Quite a huge air pocket with support mechanisms below it. The first one being the trend line, the long-term trend line support of 44.78 and the shorter term at 41.43 respectively. Um, so we got two supports before we get to that 37. As long as the market can stay supported above that, uh, it should be able to, to, uh, to tolerate the pullback and even try to get another push we failed to really close above that 50 mark so got close to it it could try to get one more push before it's all said and done so not really re ready to write this market off just yet uh, also no um, no alerts no rally or crash alerts this one still remains in a corrective um, position right now uh, so we'll watch it and see how close we get on this one so remember Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember, take what you can, give nothing back.